mean, I just don't even know how we're going to live like this, let alone keep up our businesses. There's so much going to the war. It's little wonder that there's so very little left for the rest of us. All of Williamsburg suffers. Oh, I know, and I have it on good authority that some shopkeepers and merchants are, are greatly benefiting from our suffering by raising their profits. It's vultures such as you that are a greater enemy to us than the British. Sir, Major, what goes here? What's all this commotion? My apologies for the disruption, but it seems that while his neighbors go lean on their storemen, Mr. Carter has a great abundance of salt put aside. Oh, oh, salt. Salt. There must be 15 barrels of salt back there in his woodshed. Why is there so much? It's eating his woodshed. Well, this is spying on me. You're coming to the back of my property. It's my affair, what I have on my property. I was not spying, man. I simply made inquiry at the front of your store as to where you were, and your man told me you were to the back, and I could go there and find you. So, neighbor Carter. It's you who's been hoarding the salt, so that you might drive up the price further on your neighbor's back. Shame upon you! Shame upon you! Shame upon you! Remember that the prices that we must pay for goods have risen greatly with the war. Oh, yes! Yes, I don't dispute that your prices have risen, but I should wager that your profits have grown greater still. If you dispute it, why do you not just show us your book? Yeah. I have done nothing wrong. They shall have it. They have the money and a credit to all that I've extended credit to in the tax. Who are most of you of late? I would remind you all. Oh, you, sir, the reason why Governor Henry's sentiments ring true. We have more to fear from the greed and avarice of Virginia's merchants than we do from British guns. I present what you are implying, sir. I sell my stock at fair market prices, just as everyone else does. Mr. Carter, we do not continue. Pay at the higher fair market prices. I now pay 500 shillings per pound of salt when before this war I never paid more than 15. And bacon is now 10 shillings instead of 2. Sugar, the price has risen to over 20 shillings. I have no more control over those prices than I do the weather and the sky. Oh, you discredit yourself, sir. Your hoarding has helped to cause this crisis. We all now face oh, yes. it. Right. I was not hoarding. If someone wishes to buy my stock, then they shall have it for ready money. Oh, I'm not I'm not ready. Ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. money that the government issues is not worth the papers printed on. Here, Mr. Carter, are you saying, sir, that you don't wish to accept the money issued by our free government? Oh, yes, sir. Well, if I didn't know any better, sounds to me as if you don't support our fight for freedom. Would you not say so? I think we can all agree so indeed. This is preposterous. Now, you couldn't possibly believe I'm some sort of force. Now, your actions towards our cause might make some think so, sir. And it may well be that your sentiments find their way into the Gazette. Oh, well, that would ruin me. Then show us your truth. You know we can't go on like we have. And we will not. The time has come for us to take matters into our own hands. I propose that we create a committee of citizens to address you merchants. To what end? So that for a time we might set and fix prices. Until some stability can be established. You can't be serious. It will be no different than the way it has always been done in the tavern. All right. I'm sure that Mrs. Bogue can agree. I think we should propose a committee of inspection and observation for the city to ensure that merchants and storekeepers remain in compliance to the prices set. This is madness. You can't expect us to take a loss when we sell our goods. And I won't have it. if some merchants continue to um, sell their goods above the established price or continue to, I don't know, hoard them in order to drive up the prices, their names will be printed to the Gazette as well. Yeah. If you will not buy my stock at fair market prices, Alice, there are plenty of others who will. This is why I believe the same should hold true for those who willingly pay above the set fixed prices. Yeah. 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 And their yeah. letters will be identified yeah. as enemies yeah. to liberty. Here, here. The merchants yeah. won't stand for it. The people won't stand for it. Mr. Carter, the people, they are suffering. And their suffering is due to the greed of those who would take advantage of our war. Now, I fought for the people, sir, on the battlefield. And I'm going to continue to fight for them here. Your days of unchecked greed, they are coming to an end, sir. I have done nothing wrong. I've only done what is necessary to support myself and my family. I will do everything in my power to frustrate this scheme of yours, son. I believe I shall take my leave of you people, and I'll leave every year's becoming a bit close. Shameful behavior, sir. Shameful behavior. Right now. Sir, will you put out the word to all freeholders, have a meeting.
meet this afternoon with the board. We're going to draft that association. We'll create our committee. We're going to have it signed by all the board. I would be pleased to do so, sir. Ladies, I hope that I can count upon you to help spread the word. All of you. Yeah. 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 Until then, God save Virginia! God save Virginia!